from Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. How are you guys today? So, it's raining. I don't know if you can tell that. It's just like a light misty rain. I think we're supposed to get heavier rain, so we'll see what happens. But I want to get into this uh, fall barbecue cook-off, hashtag fall barbecue cook-off, that uh, Ed from Crazy Ed's Homestead has started. He uh, wanted everybody to join in and cook something outside. It has to be a meat and um, you can't use anything inside. So, uh, you know, it's gotta be kind of over flame. So I have the flame right here. And uh, this is not meat, this is garlic, but we're going to pop this on here and I'll explain to you what I'm going to do. Voila. So what I'm going to do is make a roasted garlic chicken pizza. So in that foil is roasted garlic. So in order to roast garlic, you cut the top off from your garlic clove, the whole clove, the one that's holding all those little clove pieces, uh, those little pieces together. And you cut the top off just enough so that you can see all of your your little individual cloves inside. And uh, you take olive oil and you pour it on. Now this recipe is supposed to take three large cloves of, you know, whole cloves of garlic. I'm using my own garlic that I grew here. I didn't get any whole great big cloves of garlic. Mine are smaller, so I did about eight of them. If I have too much garlic, roasted garlic made up, oh boo hoo, I'll have it for something else. I'm not worried about that. So anyway, I did eight, cut off the tops, put them all into my foil, and just drizzled the uh, olive oil over the top so that it went down into each individual clove that you cut off. Uh, wrap that up nice and tight, got the grill going, heat it up, and now they're in there, gonna cook about, I'm gonna set the timer for 40 minutes, come back and check, it's gotta be nice and cooked and really soft so that you can like stick a knife in there and pull it out like butter and just spread it on. So we're gonna start with that uh, and we'll get that cooked and that way it can be sitting, it'll be done. Um, and then I want to work on some, cutting up some chicken. Uh, chicken is going to be my meat. Uh, nothing fancy. I just thought I would join this and I thought roasted garlic chicken uh, pizza sounded just totally awesome. And I wanted to try to do it all on the grill and show you guys that you can do it on the grill. Uh, we have done a lot of camping in our life. And we have learned that you can cook a lot of stuff on the grill that it doesn't say that you can. Um, especially if you have a cast iron pan, which is what I'm going to use on my grill with a little bit of oil. And I may grab a pad of my butter that I made with the garlic scapes from my garden as well. Put that in there. That'll flavor up, flavor up that chicken uh, to make it even more tasty to go on my pizza. So never enough garlic. The vamps are going to stay away, and I'm going to be fine. <laughs> well, my husband will probably stay away too, but that's okay. That's all right. It'll be good pizza. <laughs> okay, so next thing I'm going to do is cut up. These are two chicken thighs, and I'm just going to cut them up into chunks. Maybe take some of this fatty stuff off and just chunk them up so that... Um, I can get them in the pan and then put them on my my garlic pizza. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, those are all cut up into like bite-sized chunks-ish. So I'm just gonna throw some pepper and a little salt on these puppies. And let's go outside and see if the pan is ready on the grill to cook this chicken. Okay, so part of Ed's rules was to uh, that you couldn't cook your meat inside. It has to be outside on the flame. So I broke out the cast iron fan, pan. Not really. We use it about every day, but I got it out here. What I'm going to do is I've got a couple of my garlic scape butter pads that I made, and I'm going to throw them in here 
to melt up to put my chicken in. So we're just gonna let those melt down. It shouldn't take too, too long. And that should flavor up that chicken really well. Not like there isn't enough freaking garlic to uh, on this pizza, but we wanna make sure we get some good flavor. So let me show you what that butter looks like melting. It looks so good. Look at that. Look at all those little pieces in there that are coming off the butter as it melts. Those are pieces of garlic scape. Yummy. And it smells good too. All right. This is melting down good. We're gonna close this up for a minute. and let that melt down the rest of the way and heat up and I will put the chicken in. Okay, as you can see, that is all melted down and all you see is that green in there, yummy, yummy. And it's sizzling a little bit. So I'm gonna put my, my chopped up chicken in there. Get it cooking. Get it all coated with that nice garlic butter. Nice. Spread out those chunks a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna let that sit and heat up. I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna go in and get the um, pizza crust ready with the garlic smear to put on it. Okay, so here's my cloves that I did and they're cooled down now. And so I'm just gonna take them, I hope, and squeeze them upside down into this bowl and get the garlic out that way. Pretty sure that's gonna work. Yes, that is. So I'll just pick one up and show you. Let's see, so I don't get a bunch of stuff all over it, but hopefully you can see it's all mushy. That's the one of the cloves. So it's all mushy, which is awesome. So that's from roasting it. I did roast it for 40 minutes. Oh yeah, they'll mush up good. So I'm just mushing them up. These smell so good. Oh my word. So good. Okay, so now two tablespoons of olive oil. One and two. Okay. And then just basically mush it in there and mix it all in. I'm trying to mush it down as best I can. This has got to go all over the pizza. Okay, here's my other cast iron pan. Just giving it a good coat of cooking spray. Now, hopefully I can get this to spread out. This is my, I bought just a uh, Walmart great value pizza crust. I could have made my own, but who has time for that? But the problem is it popped open in the refrigerator for some reason, it was under pressure. So it's got, it's a little bit dry around the edges where it was sticking out, but that's all right. So basically all I want to do is mush it into my cast iron. This is a little bit bigger. This is a, I don't know what this is, a 12 inch, 12 inch cast iron pan, I guess. So I'm just spreading it out so it covers the bottom and then I'm just taking the, the edges and kind of pushing them down so it makes a nice little edge to the crust. Make sure it goes up high enough. Okay. All right. 
And then here's my olive oil and garlic mixture. I still see some big chunks in there, so those are going to be a surprise when we bite into it. But I'm just going to I'm just going to pour it on. Get it all on there. Look at all that garlic. Woo! There's there's the garlic and olive oil. Now we're gonna go out and see how the chicken's doing. Is it cooking? All right. Oh yeah. Look at that chicken. It's browning up nice. This is all on the grill, guys. Get your cast iron pan out. A little butter. Look at that. It's got some green stuck on it. That's going to be so good. We're going to let it cook a little bit longer so that it's not pink inside. And uh, just a few more minutes, and then we can put the pizza on. All right, as you can see, we got the chick the uh, pizza crust on the grill, and the chicken is all nice and cooked up for the most part. I'm just going to dump it oil and all, garlic, scape, butter and all. It's all on there. I'm just going to spread out the chicken fairly evenly if we can. So there we go. There's that. I'm going to put a little Parmesan from a can. We're going to sprinkle it on there. Some nice flavor. And then a little bit of mozzarella cheese. I like a lot, but I want it to cook up nicely. So we'll put a little bit if I want more on later than I can. This is... lot in one spot all right I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna push that in a little bit and hope that it will close it will close enough all right we're gonna let that cook on the grill in the cast iron okay guys not sure you can see the bubbling on this but it is bubbling and it is done. I don't know if you can see the browning around the edges there. And then the bottom. Look at that. Nice and browned up. Oh, that looks so good. So now we're going to go in, cut it, and try a piece. I cannot wait to see how garlicky this baby is. Okay. Let this, I let this cool down just a little bit because it was really bubbling. All right. Look at the, see if I can show you the bottom of the pizza. Look at that. Nice and brown. All right, let's cut into this guy. Oh, look at that. It's done nicely. Looks so good. I can't wait to take a bite. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, my worm. That's so garlicky. It's delicious. Mmm. So, so good. This is great. All right, so hashtag fall barbecue cook off. So, thanks, Ed from Crazy Ed's Homestead, for telling me about your challenge. I know it's not a big old piece of meat that I cooked, it's just some chicken. But who doesn't like pizza? I mean, come on. And uh, I get to eat this, so I win. <laughs> anyway, 
Thanks. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good day.